What is up, everybody? We are finally live. We have to sincerely apologize to all of our fans, our viewers, and that we started off the show late. But hey, it is better late than never. We are here to bring you nothing but the best of local entertainment as well as some local music for you. I'm Katrina Andreas, and thank you all so much for tuning in. It's going to be a dope show. We have Mabuza here. We have Whitecliff here. We have Ease on the line who just dropped something. We're about to check out his latest body of work. You guys know when it comes to Ease, oh, he just puts in that vibe. Because we are running out of time. We're going to check out this music video. I'm going to be back to catch up with Ease, who's, I think, in Germany, or he could be in South Africa. You never know. But this is an exclusive video. You are seeing it here first on Wataguan. So enjoy this and do interact with us on our social media page that is at Wataguan TV. Check this out. Hey, you got a big guy TV. You got a new smartphone. But when you try to sleep at night, it ain't all right because you feel all alone. They sell you big dreams of fame, man. Too many pictures every day. So you keep on eating, but the more you do it, sweet, you just feel more hungry. That is the latest project by your fave. That is, of course, Ease. It is titled Ayo, and he's joining us all the way from Germany. Ease, how are you doing? Ayo, Ayo. Ah, of course, oh, about. Ayo, Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> how are you guys? No, are you we are fantastic. Where in Germany are you currently finding yourself? Uh, I'm currently uh, close to Cologne. That's somewhere middle eastern part of Germany right now. Been in the studio for the last three days recording another new song. So it's always like one, one song is released, uh, then another one comes. So yeah. This, yes, sir. That's how we know you though, Is Like you don't sleep. I don't even know. Like do you even know what sleep is? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, I, I sleep, I sleep uh, at least eight to sometimes nine hours a day. But when I'm awake, that's when I'm dangerous. So ah. yeah. Listen, let's quickly talk about Ayo. Tell us more about this project. What inspired it? What is it actually about? Like when we listen to it, what should we be hearing? So as you can see also in the music video, I'm, I'm talking about a lot of material things because we as society nowadays, we get very much distracted from nice cars and being on social media and posting all these crazy things. But when it comes to who, who, you, who are you really? Who are you? Then we forget those things. So I, I brought in the concept of um, having young children in, uh, in schools in Germany and in schools in Namibia to draw some colorful art over me singing. So I wanted to give the young generation hope again because there's so much weird stuff going on in the world. It's, it's war, it's climate crisis and everything. So yeah, we need music to uplift us as society again. Ooh exactly so is that the hope like is that why there's so many colors in the music video like all these different colors is that like to, si to signal hope 
Yeah, exactly. Definitely signal hope, especially for the young generation. So to do the video, we had to first shoot it in a studio. Then we took all those video shots and, and we printed every single frame. That was over 800 frames. And we gave those frames on paper to the children. Once they were done drawing, we took those, then we scanned them, we put them in again. And when I say we, it's like me doing it. I was, I was sitting almost three days to scan 800 a3 sizes of paper put them in and have them as a video again so it was a it was a whole process and this song i am uh, giving it into to be part of the european uh, eurovision song contest it's what it's called eurovision song contest whereas i want to candidate for for germany sing on that platform they have 200 million viewers and uh, this is going to be going down next year in liverpool uh, somewhere around may so yeah, this is my song and I hope that I can yeah, get into that musical contest, the biggest in the world, and obviously represent Namibia. As Let always, you know what I, do. I feel like you are always representing us on the biggest stages and we really love to see that. That is really good. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. And we also love that you are putting on other artists as well. We see you host the Top Cherry in Germany. Yeah, that was a crazy, that was uh, the, the energy when, when I met uh, when I met Top Cherry in Germany was so great because it was just a bunch of Namibians because Tesh was also there and um, some other guys were also there. We were like, uh, Faisal MC was also there. So it was like a group of Namibians. We have our own jokes. We have our own way of talking and stuff like that. So it was a great feeling. I want to do that even more in the future. You should. Who do you think you're going to bring next to Germany though? And also you and Tesh should do I, a I song. Look we are we are since then we are connected and i'm and and i he was not really on my radar but after we met in berlin and i saw what what a cool person he is and and artistically i'm following that guy he, he must be ready that song is coming namibians are probably like you didn't know tesh was on the radar they are like what but anyway okay. no on my radar on my radar he was on the radar i i know his voice it was so weird when we met the first time i was like Dude, just keep on talking because I hear all your verses in my head, but now I'm seeing you in front of me. So, yeah, it was cool. Listen, we almost have to say goodbye to you, but can you quickly tell us about the NAM Flavor Camp? What is that all about? Yes, so NAM Flavor Camping is a platform which I started roundabout, uh, released three weeks ago. It's I have so many people from the from outside always ask me, you put so much Namibia in your music videos. We also want to come to Namibia, but where do we go? So I came up with the idea of giving a platform where people can go and then select one of their tours and everything happens in the background, whereas the whole camping route, uh, all the activities, every place they want to go and see in Namibia is already pre-planned. -pre mm. So it took me around about seven months to put like a whole tour, the best possible tour for people that come to Namibia for the first time, which they can experience. So yeah, namflavorcamping.com is a great way to show people the NAM flavor we have in Namibia and have more tourists coming in. Because I have a platform overseas where people see my videos, they hear my music. So, and I want to use that to push even more and have them come to Namibia. So there's like a whole booklet. They will get like a full map. It's a map which I designed called the NAM flavor map, very colorful. And yeah, I'm taking the tourists to all these destinations of the living museums. So there's a lot of people benefiting from, from this tour, actually. Locals, uh, which is the idea. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to ask you. Let's push Namibia even more. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, oh, you are a businessman. You really think smart. I actually want to know, just quickly, personally, before we talk about Eurovision, yeah. why are you so passionate about Namibia, yes. Is? So the thing is, um, born in Namibia, your whole life you get told that you are German. So, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm fifth generation Namibian, blah, blah. So anyways, that's what people tell you all life. Then you go to Germany for the first time and then you realize I am so much Namibian. <laughs> so I think it's uh, the love uh, to Namibia is, is much stronger when I'm outside of Namibia. And that's, that's what sparked it. So, and I see so much talent in Namibia. I see, I see the, I call it Nam flavor. I see this thing, which is very, very, important and very uh, it's big for me and i want to just spread it to the world so yeah i think if i would be in namibia i wouldn't be such a big namibian fan but as i'm outside listen, it gets more and more every day i'm a namibian and i'm still such a big namibian fan and listen you're gonna yes. hit another big stage again next year it's like you just booked and busy quickly before we say goodbye 
Talk to us about Eurovision. What can we expect from you and how you're going to represent us? Okay, we already know how you're going to represent us, you know? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You already know. So uh, Eurovision is the biggest music uh, contest in the world. There's, I think, 27 countries taking part, mostly European countries, obviously. So for me to take part, I have to pick one of those European countries and I'm picking Germany to then use that. But this is just a pre-round. So it's like a road to Eurovision. I will have to compete against around about 1,000 other German artists. And when I get into the final 10, then um, I will compete with them on a live stage. And once I make it through those 10, then I can represent Germany uh, for the Eurovision. Let's and you know, I will put Namibia in there. Hey. Listen, you have won before competing against thousands of people. We are sure you're going to win again. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Ease, for talking to us. And all and the best you. with your projects. And keep representing Namibia. You know us all day, every day. Oh, proudly, <laughs> proudly. <laughs> I feel like it is those guys that could also like just sleep on a whole Namibian flag. You know what I mean? But make sure to go and support his latest project. It is AO. Uh, go and check those views out. You know, get the views to a million. And also just follow him on social media to find out where you can catch him because he is definitely uh, representing Namibia on those big stages. Eurovision 2023 is so big. Nam Flavor, what a great initiative. So please follow this man. He is definitely putting us on the map. For now, let's get back to the music that is what we do on a friday on what one it is mazanga with nale